So this one came in as a no start out in the parking lot, wouldn't crank, or it would crank, sorry, but uh, it wouldn't start. Uh, it took a fuel sample here at the rail and it, it was shooting out a bit, but there was no residual pressure uh, when I first disconnected it. Um, so then we tapped on the bottom of the gas tank and it did seem to start, and, but it ran rough. Uh, but afterwards, I cracked it open again and there was no real residual pressure. And because of the rough running and the white smoke that came out the tailpipes, I'm thinking that one of the injectors is sticking um, that causing the pressure loss. So I'm just putting a fuel pressure tester on here now to see if pressure builds and drops. Nothing exposed. That's tight. I also smell the oil for gas. I think you have a stuck injector. Uh huh. No pressure? Well, lots of fumes? Lots of fumes out back. Yeah. Lots Cran of gas? Crank well, it doesn't really smell. Crank it. I want to see if pressure builds and if it drops. Off! Yeah, pressure, uh, pressure drops right off. I can see the uh, Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull an injector out, or the, uh, I'm gonna pull the rail out. Pull. Watch your eyes. Sort of cleaned it out and then you just lift it up and out. Hopefully. There she is. Cycle it twice for me. I want to get a strong spray pattern. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Thank you. Gonna use my uh, vacuum sucker to suck out the gasoline. You can see, well, you can't see, but I'll, sh I'll uh, embed a video that shows the bore scope going down. There's c this cylinder is full of, not full, the intake manifold, the head. <laughs> up until the valves is full of fuel. Alright, it's sucking fuel out right now. All good. It's not gonna hydraulic on me tomorrow. again yeah it's all dry now this was full of fuel you can still see the fuel vapor in here I'll uh, embed the video Take a look right now to make sure it's actually recorded. Yes, it recorded it. Yeah. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Already took the injector out. You just pull the clip out, wiggle the injector out, put a new one in. We're gonna see if the customer wants all four replaced. We can do one at a time, obviously, but um, it's a good time to do all of them now. Good morning, another day, another dollar. Uh, but I didn't expect this. Customer does not want to spend too much money on this. this is a 2002 Audi A4. Fairly good condition, but he doesn't want to spend much money on it. So uh, he asked if we had used injectors, injectors, and uh, so uh, we do, but I don't know the condition of them, so I'm just gonna plug one in, see what happens. Uh, and then just put it all back together. Just a little bit of rubber grease. Then I'm going to pressurize the rail and uh, see if it squirts okay. If I remember where I put the clip. And you see the little slots in the injector? That's where they, the clip clips in. And the clip itself just sits in that metal in the uh, metal retaining clip because I'm just going to crank it the injector shouldn't be spraying anyways oh there she goes So pressure is holding, 55. Injector tester, positive, negative. One hundred pulses, five milliseconds. Nothing's happening. Number two is good. Might as well check all of them. Number three is okay. Number four is okay. All the patterns are obviously with, with lower fuel pressure, the pattern's not going to be as atomized and not as forceful. So I'm not too concerned about slight irregularities. Um, 
but the fact that this guy doesn't do anything, that's no good. Oops. Could, could have been air maybe, huh? No, I should have done it should have done something, which it didn't. Let's hear it click. Yeah, it's not even clicking. That one's not clicking either. Also not clicking. <coughs> there she goes. If in doubt, bang on the injector. That's funny. Let's try this one again. Prime the rail again. <clears throat> Crank a little bit. <coughs> this is the used injector again here. There's a bit of air still in the system. Just under 55. Okay, let's put it all back together, see how it goes. There may be a camshaft position sensor code stored because I cranked it with the cam sensor disconnected. I'm going to clear all that, obviously, uh, but it should start and run fairly smooth once it clears uh, the excess fuel that's still in the manifold or in the exhaust, etc. That's running pretty smooth. This is all the excess fuel that was in the uh, exhaust. No leak at the rail. No leak back here. I'm going to drive it out and uh, let it smoke outside or clear outside. <coughs> 